Lifting weights is one of the best things you can do for uh, lowering insulin and glucose control. Hey everybody, I thought I would chat with you guys and gals a little bit about this today. Uh, you know, again, this is one of these topics that when you see certain fitness circles and health circles, people bring up things like, well, you know, I do this or that to uh, lower my insulin response, overall insulin response, get my circulating insulin lower, um, all these things for glucose control. And I think a big point, and I hit upon this in a, another video I made this morning, I hit on this point, you know, people will, will do low carbohydrate diet specifically to do this and go through all this trouble and cut out all the delicious carbs that we eat that improve our health and our athleticism and taste great. Uh, you know, our natural fuel source, you know, because again, we're, we're a glucose based organism, right? It is our primary and preferred fuel source. You know, they'll, they'll do all this, but without realizing that all this elevated insulin response, um, elevated blood sugar, all these things, unless you were born with a, a metabolic condition already, born with it, not just genetics, but habit. Unless you, you do that, it's caused by being sedentary. Okay, and, and this this is not uh, a controversial statement to even make. I guess it's, this is well understood, well understood, well documented. But when it comes to really getting the best, uh, like uh, healthy insulin response and getting it under control, lifting weights is the best thing you can possibly do. And I'm not saying diet doesn't matter. I want to be clear. I mean, in theory, you can you can eat a bad enough diet to get to get around that, right? Obviously, you can, but you're, again, eating pretty bad for that to happen. And for, for the diet in to, to be out of control, your diet has to be really bad. Even a remotely, even a remotely balanced diet will be great on this uh, if, if you're lifting weights. And a lot of that has to do with, with uh, being multifold in nature. Uh, number one, it's the muscle mass itself, right? Muscle mass is a basically a glucose sink, right? Our muscle tissue holds glucose, it soaks up glucose, it is hungry for glucose. So even if we're laying around resting, you're not even working out, having more muscle mass attracts glucose, okay? Muscle tissue is very insulin sensitive, extremely insulin sensitive. So adding muscle, like even if you take any human being and over the course of months, let's say they're somewhat new to lifting, because you talk about adding 10 pounds of muscle, it takes forever to add 10 pounds of muscle. Well, not for news. That could be done in less than a year, even for women, right? Now, men, you should be able to gain at least 15 easily in your first year. Uh, but 10 pounds of muscle. That has an enormous effect on, on uh, glucose disposal and insulin sensitivity. Enormous. Absolutely enormous like a life-changing difference. Uh, so in other words, you, you do make no other lifestyle interventions, none other than gaining 10 pounds of muscle from lifting weights. Your blood work will look dramatically different, okay? Your, your insulin will be way lower. Your fasting glucose will be lower. Everything will improve. And a lot of other health markers too, but we're just we're purely talking about this end of it. All right, the muscle tissue itself, is extremely insulin sensitive, it burns through carbohydrates. And if we have a higher insulin sensitivity, we need less insulin. So people forget that. You know, they're, they're so worried about the glucose end sometimes, they're missing the forest for the trees. And it's like, it's, it's having glucose, having blood sugar is not why you have elevated insulin. I mean, because you have to have blood sugar. You're gonna die without it, it's a requirement. So instead of worrying about reducing the blood sugar side, they get too caught up in the diabetic end for people who are already diabetic. Well, if they lose fat and gain muscle, they can come off their meds and this problem goes away anyways. Again, type two, not type one. But even type one, it's more manageable, isn't it? Right. But, but if they're, they gain muscle, you need less insulin. So for the same amount of glucose, if, if the insulin sensitivity through your body doubles, you need half the insulin, half the insulin to dispose of the same amount of glucose. Okay. This is why 
when you see lifters, like really serious lifters, you know, again, setting aside PEDs that may interfere with, with insulin disposal, some of them do, some of them help it, some of them hurt it, setting that aside. Okay, so let's, let's throw that out of the equation. Let's think about just the lifting weights and muscle down. Okay, lifters who eat white rice, Let's say even lifters who are eating 2,000 calories of white rice every day as part of their, their food tend to have lower circulating insulin than people on ketogenic diets who don't really lift serious. It makes that big of a difference. It literally, white rice still has a lower insulin response. Their circulating insulin is lower. People say, how could that be? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. It's such a high, uh, you know, glycemic index, pure carbohydrate. Because they have high insulin sensitivity. You just don't need much of it. So the key is making your body insulin sensitive. It's not to, oh, let's just get rid of the glucose. I mean, glucose is phenomenal. No, instead, let's make our body to where our body craves and burns the glucose and handles it healthily. Well, gaining muscle. And then the lifting weights on top of it. What, what fuel source do you burn when you're lifting? You, it's all glucose. So not only are we creating uh, muscle tissue that sucks it up, our actual training burns more of it. In fact, you have to have it. It's actually difficult to train with high volumes on low carbohydrate diets. So we create a machine that thrives on it, that loves it, okay? And we do that by lifting weights. And the stronger and bigger you get and the more you lift, the more pronounced this effect is. It scales, okay? And for the average person watching, maybe who's not into, into serious lifting, I'm 47 years old here, okay? I burn through at least 500 grams of carbohydrates every day. I can't even maintain my body weight on that. Like I would have to have, I mean, other stuff. Okay. For me, if I were to just eat lean protein and 500 grams of carbohydrate and low fat, I, I would lose weight pretty fast. I can't even maintain my body weight on that. So there's your context. Okay. Again, muscle tissue burns through glucose, improves insulin sensitivity to the point where your insulin response is extremely low, no matter how many carbohydrates you eat compared to a sedentary person. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.